Hey, sweeties, let's go shopping. We're going to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna pick up some of the items that I love and one that I hate, and I will tell you why. We'll go through the grocery store and I'll bring those items home and then we're gonna cook some of them. And I'll tell you exactly what I love and what I hate. I'm bringing my reusable tote bags. That's right, my merch, and you can get your tote bag. The link is in the description box for Sweet Savant merch. There's t-shirts, sweatshirts, let's go. But first, please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. Let's go to Trader Joe's. First, I stopped by Pike Nurseries because it's right in the same complex, shopping complex as Trader Joe's. And I wanted to pick up these patio-sized peach trees. Look how gorgeous. And they have little peaches on them. They were $50 each, but I had a $50 credit. So it was basically buy one, get one free. Got those, but that's a story for another day. Let's go ahead to Trader Joe's, navigate this crazy parking lot, and then get inside. And you walk right into the flower section. And that's one of my favorites, the orchids. I love orchids. And the large ones at $14.99 are the best price for this size orchids in this area. This is uh, just north of the city of Atlanta. And Orchids are going for $18.99 at, uh, say, Publix, $19.99 at Kroger, and $24.99 at Home Depot. So that size, $14.99, is a great deal. And they have these cute little, th so many options. So you know we had one. No, I got more than one. Now off to the frozen food section. Actually, I should have stopped here last. But, um, you know, you don't want your frozen foods to melt while and get warm while you're in the grocery store but i stopped here first i picked up these kimbabs because i saw them on um somewhere on social media someone said they were good grabbed a bag of the mandarin chicken and the short ribs i love these short ribs they're so darn delicious get a couple of bags of those because they cook really really fast but mandarin chicken i've been buying this for years it has been a go-to family meal so i've got a bag of that as well and then these scallion pancakes and i'm going to show you how i cook all of these things once we get back home uh, or most of these things some of them <laughs> disappeared before i got a chance to show you but I'll uh, go over most of them. Now, I didn't buy this. This is my first time seeing these um, big cinnamon twist Danish. It looks delicious. A lot of sugar, though. I did not pick that up, but it looks very tasty. In the produce section, I do like these uh, bags of shredded cabbage and slaw mix for quick meals. Always, I grab some broccoli florets. And this baby broccoli looked mighty tasty. I did not get that today. And then the broccolini as well. But I try to keep a bag of broccoli florets in the refrigerator because they make such a quick and easy addition to a meal, especially on a weeknight. And now for the snack section, it's time for these elote corn dippers. This was a request by my son. He wanted me to pick these up and um, he loves them we've had them before i tried it once not my favorite but they are a customer favorite they are the number two selling snack food at trader joe's so i'll pick up a couple of bags that mandarin chicken that i showed you in the freezer section is also a customer favorite but it won so many times that they put it in the hall of fame and retired it uh, it definitely is a super popular item just as these um, elote chips are. And we'll open these up when we get home and I'll show you what they look like inside. But my favorite snack in Trader Joe's are these toasted plantain chips. So darn tasty. They are such a great snack. And honestly, I usually put, bring one of these into the front seat with me and have a little snack on these on my way home they are super super tasty just plantains oil and salt pretty straightforward but very 
very tasty. Trader Joe's is well known for their wine selection and port is my favorite. It's a fortified wine. That means that it has some extra like alcohol punch to it. So it is quite tasty, but quite strong. It's a little bit goes a long way. And then I picked up some of these Trader Joe's tote bags because we're going on a trip to Japan soon and these tote bags are very popular there. I thought they would make nice gifts. So I grabbed a couple to take with us. And now these dark chocolate orange slices were another request from my son. Let's head to the checkout with our reusable tote bags and come on home. They also gave me a box because I had so many plants and those bottles of port. So I got my orchids. Yeah, you know I bought more than one because I absolutely love, adore orchids so much. Our kitchen and living room is really one big space and I like to use an orchid arrangement to sort of block the view of the kitchen sink from the living room. I think it's much prettier than looking at the faucet. So I will do a fresh orchid arrangement. I try to get my uh, old ones to rebloom, but I haven't been successful yet. If you have any orchid tips, please let me know. Let's unpack our tawny port, which is often served as a dessert wine, but I think it is so delicious with cheese and cured meats, perfect pairing for your charcuterie board. And remember, a little goes a long way because it is fortified with usually brandy and uh, it packs a little bit of a punch. It's very tasty though. And uh, you know, they really get me with the flowers at Trader Joe's, some tulips for outside to brighten up the front porch. Ah, they're so darn pretty. We have a few more things to bring in. Let's bring in the bags. Hey, sweeties, you know what it is. Now, I picked up those um, frozen kimbap. I'm sorry I didn't get a shot of these when I took them out of the package, but they are tasty. It's not one of my favorites, but they are quite tasty. A little sweetness to them. And then these are definitely one of my favorites, if not my favorite item from Trader Joe's the scallion pancakes. I'm gonna open the package and cook these for you in just a minute. I'm also gonna cook these uh, Korean style short ribs. These are so, so darn tasty and they only need about two or three minutes per side to cook. Uh, let's crack these open and um, get to cooking. So these are full of shredded vegetables and held together by a pancake-like batter, a savory pancake batter. These are not vegan. They do contain eggs. Um, they are so tasty. You can cook them from frozen, which I usually do, or you can thaw them in the refrigerator overnight. They're four to a package. Look at those, about five inches in diameter. You can see it's loaded with scallions. Filled with shredded carrots and shredded mushrooms. You can cook these on the stove top, maybe put a little bit of oil in the pan and fry them up about three or four minutes on each side. Today I'm gonna try cooking them in the um, Ninja air fryer oven. And I've actually bought this air fryer oven uh, used like new on um, Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box for that. And you can see quite a bit of oil comes out of them when you put them in the air fryer. So I blotted some of that oil off and they get so nice and crispy and so tasty. I usually mix up a little dipping sauce with some soy sauce, red wine, vinegar, and a little um, hot, uh, hot sesame oil. So, so good. This is my favorite Trader Joe's item. I love it so much. They also have a, another version which is vegan, but the, it's more like a crepe. But I have not seen that at Trader Joe's in a long time. It's been out of stock for a while. Now, these Korean style beef short ribs, another banger. These are so tasty. 
they uh again they come frozen i thaw them overnight in the refrigerator and then i cook them just in a really wide skillet on top of the stove they do recommend that you put them on the grill which i have not tried yet but i'm sure that would be delicious they come in this marinade so you just cut that bag open and get a skillet a big saute pan nice and hot and i use a five quart ninja never stick premium uh this i bought a few years ago and it fits all of them there are about seven of these short ribs in a package you can see they're pretty thin not like super paper thin but they're pretty thin they only need two or three minutes to brown on each side i don't add any oil to the pan for this because they do have quite a bit of fat on them but i like to get the saute pan super super hot and brown those up and they are delicious these are those elote corn dippers that my son requested i mean this is not one of my favorites i don't hate it but it's not for me i had one in there with so much seasoning on it i tasted it and it was like getting stung in the mouth by bees i didn't like it <laughs> this one had just too much seasoning not one of my favorite snacks then the uh, dark chocolate orange sticks these were tasty. Uh, I don't really like the taste of chocolate and orange together. It's not one of my favorite flavor combinations, but this was pretty good. The orange is like a gel. It's tender, not like a stiff gummy bear or something, but like a tender orange gel. Tasted really natural. It was pretty good. Now, on to what I hate. So hate is a strong word. First of all, let's talk about how they call it Trader Ming's. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But this is the Mandarin chicken. It comes with some sauce packets in the bag and you can put them in the microwave. There's two of these sauce packets. Take them out of the plastic, put them in a bowl and microwave them for a couple of minutes. And then we have the chicken pieces that are coated in a you know starchy batter. Look at the size discrepancy with these pieces. Now, I've been buying this for years. This used to be one of my favorite items, um, but I feel like the quality has gone down. So when I say I hate it, I, it's more like I'm disappointed. The size is all over the place. You got some little crumbs, you got a couple of really big giant pieces. Um, it makes me sad because this was one of my go-to family dinners this the broccoli put the sauce on it put it over some rice the batter is uneven and thick like this one kind of nugget is half batter and half chicken i use chicken thighs um, so it is nice and juicy the outside does get crispy but the batter is just uneven so for me this product while it was one of Trader Joe's, or it still is one of Trader Joe's very popular items is in their Hall of Fame. It is now for me a loser just because it used to be so good and now the quality has gone way down. The big variation in sizes means that you have some smaller pieces that come out very crispy, very well done, and the larger pieces can still be cold and a little gooey in the middle. I'm very disappointed in what I think is a, a loss in quality of what was a very good product. Well, what did you think about that, sweeties? Some of these Trader Joe's products, I really love the short ribs, those scallion pancakes, some of my favorite, but the Mandarin arm, the Mandarin chicken, not so much anymore. Yes, I said I hate it. Hate is a strong word. I'm disappointed at what I feel is a loss of quality. It was a great product, a go-to in my house, but now not so much. Tell me what you think. What are your favorite products from Trader Joe's? Or what products do you think are overrated? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to check out the Sweet Savant merch. The link will be in the description box, please. 
subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. And y'all have a delicious day.